Well, the Democrats are at it again. They are trying to discharge another unqualified Joe Biden appointee. This time it is Colin Call. He is up for the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy. The problem with Colin Call is he has been wrong on just about every single foreign policy issue over the past decade. Let me run through some. 2019, when we have disaster striking along the southern border, here's how he labeled the situation. Quote, Trump's fake border crisis, unquote, and, quote, a phony terrorism threat, unquote. Now, we know he was wrong on that. His judgment calls on the actions and motivations of our most dangerous adversaries have also been particularly terrible. When President Trump warned the Iranian regime not to resume their nuclear activities, Call declared that, quote, war drums, unquote, were already sounding. We know he was wrong. When President Trump made the decision to eliminate terrorist Soleimani, Call was positive that the strike had started a war. It did not. When I questioned Call during the confirmation hearings, he equated Iranian proxies killing Americans with our subsequent proportionate strike against Soleimani, saying, and I quote, there were provocations on both sides, end quote. Again, wrong. Call was absolutely sure that given the chance, John Bolton, of all people, would twist available intelligence and single-handedly start wars with Iran and North Korea. Again, wrong. He also predicted that Trump would jump into Syria and start a war with Assad and the Russians. Again, he was wrong. Those hot takes earned him a lot of ink in Foreign Policy magazine, but it did not earn him respect. That's the reason he is having problems with his confirmation. I don't know if he wrote those things because he wanted to put President Trump in the hot seat or because he honestly believed them, but I don't think the answer to that question matters. If he believed them, then it's proof of his very poor judgment when it comes to foreign policy. If he wrote them to inflame the progressive base, it's proof He's willing to trivialize the prospect of armed conflict with cliques. How in the world can President Biden expect us to vote to confirm someone who is so wrong so often? In addition to his poor judgment, he has also attached himself to truly terrible policy decisions. He opposed bipartisan legislation that would have imposed sanctions on the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. He staffed the effort to condemn Israel at the UN Security Council. He's open, as he says, to moving away from the nuclear triad. And perhaps worst of all, when he served in the Obama administration as a Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense, for the Middle East, he dropped the ball on a status of forces agreement that would have allowed U.S. forces to remain in Iraq. That failure, that very failure led to the rise of ISIS. I have examined Mr. Call's record and found nothing but a history of bad policy judgment, a volatile disposition, and a terrible temper that manifests in inflammatory rhetoric. That might be a great resume for a pundit on TV, but it's not the body of work I want to see from someone of either party who will be responsible for developing national security and defense strategy. I oppose the discharge motion. I oppose the nomination and I urge my colleagues to spend some time looking at Mr. Call's resume before placing him in this powerful position. He is not qualified. He has been wrong on never, nearly every single policy agreement.